Promotional consideration paid for by the following. again to another quick sharp review for Cheap Shot Entertainment. I am your host the Reverend Luke Edwards wearing a vest top because it's so warm outside why not even though I'm sat inside with the curtains shut so I can do this video but shh, don't tell anybody. We're going to look at Sleepaway Camp 3 otherwise known as Nightmare Vacation in the UK. Why did you have to tamper with a perfect perfect name? I don't know. Awful name. I'm going to call it Sleepaway Camp. It is a teenage wasteland and it is based around um, the same camp. Uh, it's got a new name. Uh, I think Camp New Horizons in this one. Still get the Happy Camper song. Oh, I'm a happy camper. And yeah, it's based around mixing two classes. You've got the kids, the needy kids and then you've got the high class kids and they're trying to mix them together and, and get them to be friends through lots of trust exercises. Teenage Wasteland was released in 1989. Michael A. Simpson was your director and Fritz Gordon was the screenplay writer. It got a 5.2 on IMDb and I can actually see why in this case. It's not got the same energy as number two and it doesn't really have any plot to drive it forward apart from having it's the same camp with new people and uh, so the official synopsis Angela is back in the form of an angry inner city camper an angry teenager she runs over I'm going to spoil the first kill she runs over with a juggernaut why did not no one see this why did no one question why that juggernaut was running over a child in an alleyway. Um, she, I don't even think it was Juggernaut, it was a bin lorry actually, um, because she chucks her in there afterwards. Um, on the hunt for new blood to let, of course. Uh, Camp New Horizons uh, on the recycled grounds of the former murders. I mean, there's a lot of murders in the, third, in the second one. Uh, it's the same camp there. Uh, intends to pair high class teens with underclass uh, counterparts. Angela has a different plan. Of course, she wants to just kill everybody because everyone really is the same. It doesn't matter whether they've got lots of money or not a lot of money. If you're a teenager, you're probably a douche. And that's just the way it is. I'm sure I was when I was a teenager, I may still be now, just saying that. It starts Pamela Prince Springsteen again, as Angela doesn't bring the same kind of energy as, it, as she did in the second one. It made the second one so, so good. I love the second one. Tracy Griffith plays Marcia. Uh, Michael J. Pollard plays Herman. Uh, this is a, you know, a well-appreciated actor playing uh, a sex pest. He does have a scene where he is getting randy, shall we say, getting randy, with a teenager, maybe a 20 year old playing a teenager, with her breasts out uh, in a tent, um, because she doesn't want to go, uh, doesn't want to go fishing, so he just takes her pants off. Yeah, 1989 people, it's a long time ago, thank goodness we're not there now. Uh, 20 years ago, I mean, it is, you know, it's not acceptable at any point in time, but yeah, there you go. Um, quite disturbed by that, um, but there you go. Cliff Brand plays Barney, who is the copper dad of Sean, who was in the second one, uh, who is now part of the camp, um, camp runners, if you like, uh, head campers, head Whatever they call them. We don't have camps over here 
in the UK, occasionally, maybe. Uh, Mark Oliver plays Tony, Haynes Brook plays Bobby, Sandra Dorsey plays Lily, and you've also got people um, with names like Arab, Snowboy, and Riff, just to fill in the stereotypes of those tough inner city kids. There you go, Snowboy. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't really have a lot of plot to speak of. They split off into two groups. Um, they split off into three groups, one going with each camp counsellor, so to speak. That's it, camp counsellor. And they're all going off into the woods. So after Angela has fixed one set of campers, she goes to the next one and goes to the next one. And it's a lot of censorship and considering we saw the deaths that we saw in the second one and in the first one, uh, this one's really sort of toned down. Uh, and I'm not saying even if you did see the things, uh, the, the murders happen, and that it would be any better. Definitely the worst of the three. Um, but there you go. Um, there were some cool kills in this one. Uh, Lawnmower to the face was a good one. And uh, of course, he did almost get a final girl in this one, which is uh, which is interesting. Uh, and uh, you know, playing the game at the end where she's asking, you know, go, go and find, um, go and go and find the the camper that I've left alive. And if you don't, I'm going to kill you. That kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it's it's interesting, but not anything that will keep you going back for more. Incidentally, I think there's two more Sleepaway Camp movies which I need to try and find so I can watch them and complete the series. Why not? Just complete the series. I mean, we're, we're in lockdown, we've got plenty of time to do things, so why not do that? Um, so I'm going to give Sleepaway Camp 3 Teenage Wasteland a, an axe to the back of the neck out of a lawnmower to the face. And it's really no wonder why they had to do so many trust exercises when they were out in the woods. <sighs> Sleep away camp people. Yes, I watched it. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend going to watch um, going to watch the series. Sleepaway Camp 3 is very watchable, it's not as good as the other two in my opinion in the original trilogy and then obviously it came back, they bought it back and they tried to make it make it something again and it just wasn't there. Uh, that being said I haven't actually seen 4 or 5 so I need, I need to say I need to try and find them but this is a quick shot review of Sleepaway Camp 3 Teenage Wasteland and I would say go and watch it, it's, it's fun. You've got plenty of time. You've got plenty of time to do these things. And with that, you all the Cheap Shot Nation, I have been your host, the Reverend Luke Edwards. I hope you will click all the buttons and, and follow us on social media. If you like Sleepaway Camp, let us know. If you don't like it, tell us why. Um, part of what we do is getting you guys to chat to us, and we love having the discussions. So do that, if you would. And I'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe, stay at home, and watch films. Bye.